I wanted to do an update about what's going on in Myanmar and I wanted to show you some of the propaganda that's being used against the new government there and how the Western media is trying to shape public perception regarding the political crisis going on in Myanmar. Uh, this is from Thai PBS and actually Thai PBS is funded by the Thai government. And while the Thai government made the right decision to not interfere in Myanmar's internal political affairs, unfortunately, Thai PBS here is echoing the ridiculous Western propaganda being spread about the conflict there. And I'm going to show you an example of this. And then at the same time, they are covering up Western interference in Myanmar's internal political affairs. So let's look at this article. It's Myanmar Journal, local media defy orders to not use terms military coup or military government. Nowhere in this article do they mention that the media in Myanmar, the opposition media, to be more specific, is funded by the US government and the British government, all of them. Every single one of them. There isn't a single independent opposition media organization in Myanmar that the Western media has cited. If you look any of them up, you will find their US or British government funding. And then there was something else that really jumped out at me. It was this, a report by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute fuels suspicions that China is backing the coup installed government one way or the other. And that's it, that's all they say. They don't offer any of the evidence provided by this institute that that may or may not be happening. And if you actually click on this link, it'll bring you here, the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. This is their journal, The Strategist. And what you'll notice immediately is on the right-hand side, these are weapons manufacturers. That's who sponsors this institute. And these aren't even Australian companies. These are Western European and American weapon companies. They have Australian subsidiaries. They're the ones sponsoring this institute and they are the ones writing this nonsense. And I'm going to show you how, what kind of nonsense it actually it is. What's on the clandestine nightly flights between Myanmar and China? Well, they don't know. That's why they asked the question in the headline. Uh, if they knew, that would be the headline. And if you go through the article, all they know is that there's flights going going between China and Myanmar and they don't know what's on them. That's all they know. That's the only thing that they know. Uh, if you look through here, they speculate. They engage in conspiracy theory. They claim that it might be Chinese troops. It might be Chinese cyber experts. It might be weapons supplied to the, to the new government in Myanmar by the Chinese. But then at one point, they also say that it might be Russia sending these flights sending clandestine support to the new government in Myanmar. At the end of the article, they admit that they have absolutely no idea. So this is a conspiracy theory being spread by an institute funded by Western arms manufacturers. And this is what Thai PBS felt was necessary to tell the public. Uh, nowhere in this article do they mention the documented, verified US government interference in Myanmar's internal political affairs. The documented, verified support the US government is giving to the opposition. And to show you just how verified and documented it is, you just go to the US government's own National Endowment for Democracy website and you can see that uh, they have their new Burma 2020 list. They refuse to call the country Myanmar. They insist on using the British colonial name Burma. And you can see scores and scores and scores of programs and organizations and companies that the US government is funding to influence and interfere in Myanmar's internal political affairs. This is a violation of international law. It is a violation of international norms. It is a violation of the UN Charter, which guarantees political independence for every nation on earth. When a government is funding political organizations in another country to influence their internal political affairs, this is a violation of international law and norms and the UN Charter. Nowhere is that mentioned in Thai PBS's 
article. So even though Thai PBS is funded by the Thai government and the Thai government made the right decision not to interfere, unfortunately, the, the journalists at Thai PBS have decided to just echo the propaganda being spread by the Western media by organizations like the BBC and Reuters, who we now know for a fact signed contracts with the British government to serve as an extension of the British intelligence apparatus under the cover of journalism. We know they did that for a fact. So when we see Thai PBS echoing the propaganda of Western news organizations hiding under their journalistic credentials to execute contracts signed with the British government to serve as an extension of their intelligence apparatus, uh, this is very disturbing. This is a huge problem that uh, Thailand and, and probably other countries in this region need to solve. The ASEAN principles of non-interference are in line with international norms and international law. It is in line with the UN Charter. Western interventionism is not. Even though we are convinced that it's the norm because the US and Western Europe do it so frequently and do it anywhere and everywhere they feel like it, it is wrong. It is illegal. And it is not something that ASEAN should follow in the footsteps of. And news organizations like Thai PBS should be reflecting the interests of Thailand, not the interests of Western capitals thousands of miles away. So that is your update on what's going on in Myanmar, a little look into the propaganda war being waged against it and the pressure being put on ASEAN to get involved in Western interventionism in violation of ASEAN's own principles and also in violation of international law. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Think about subscribing. Uh, it's totally free to do and it helps the channel grow. Check the video description for the links to everything that I talked about here in the video, as well as for ways you can help support my work, like by becoming a Patreon member. And as always, thank you for watching.